Yeah, like you can do some spring, yeah, girl. Yeah, I'm trying to keep going, saying the peas and thing. Yo, I fought in enough for them, yeah. Wait, where's that big argument you on spot side last night? He dropped some stupid remark about Maylene, saying that, don't mind she, she is only a servant, she ain't all going on. So you know I like, didn't he? I ain't blame you. I had to let you know that being a domestic servant is lawful, gainful employment. The same as carpenter, mason, doctor, lawyer, taxi driver. They're all providing the service that people need and prepare to pay for. So they all got value. This idea of looking at the some jobs and looking down for others is bare foolishness. I agree with you, Giggard. Cardi, the domestic servant job that Maylene doing enable the person she's doing it for to go to work without having to worry about if the house getting clean, if the children getting like after, that sort of thing, right? So it is just as worthwhile as any other job. All right, then. You see, Cardi, this call for respect for domestic servants is something that is backed by the International Labour Organization, ILO. They have a convention that insists on decent work for domestic workers, Convention 189. All that they ask for is for domestic workers to be respected, not only generally, but by the employers in particular, right? And for, for that respect to be reflected in conditions of work and pay. Simple. You got this thing tall, Giggard. No, I mean, it's just that I read it. And anybody can read it for themselves. Uh, you see, from reading it, I know that an employee is entitled to one hour break every day, right? And if he agrees to do overtime, I know that he's entitled to time and a half the normal rate of pay. Things like that. You see, they're not only talking about respect, but fairness as well. Sound fair enough to me, Giggard. Look, I'm going to do this job here. All right, then. Okay, got it.